Hello sir, in this video, I'll be sharing with you about the Athletics Residence. Right here, we have the Athletics Residences, which is actually composed of six buildings. And then here, we have A until F. But the building that I'll be showing you mainly right now is building A. So if we look at what we have right here, we have the top elevation and basically an overview of the spider lock connection system that was used for the building. The evacuation slide so the evacuation slide was actually a design from an engineering student they actually made they actually made a thesis about this and then i actually tweaked their design to fit this building right here but more or less this is the this is the type c of their design which I actually reinvented and turned it into something else. As we can see, it says here, this is the 8x2 type. This is the ISO of the view of the fire escape and evacuation slide. These are the isometric view of the residences. So basically, this is an overview of how you can see the residences this is the top elevation of the residences so based on what you've shared last time with us sir, i actually use the skyscraper design technique that you actually taught so this is what it made and then the elevations of the building are the height is 150 which is actually in accordance to the height limit because it says here from the CAAP, the adjusted allowable height is, is actually just like this because if I go above 150, it, is, it will be considered as an air traffic obstruction according to the Code of Fe Federal regulation or the CFR part 77 the height of a structure above 499 feet or 152.10 meters are considered obstructions under the FAA which is the max building height when near these things so right here we can see the render of the exterior of the building mainly i'm just showing you here the type a because if i showed everything it will be clustered together this is another view of the building this is another this is the back part and then this is the front part where you can actually see that this this exit has a limit on where it reaches but do not worry because the other side actually has the part right there that they could exit from so there's technically multiple exits around the building and if you look at, at this angle it may seem like this but when you look at the plan there's a lot of exits this is another angle so the if you look closely the fire exits are actually not the same on each side the, te the technique that I did was to follow the the exterior of the building so I based it off of that so that it would have a smooth smooth finish of the fire exit and then in this part you can actually see all the plans that was produced for this building but this is not limited to the whole thing because as presented last time the video i mean the plan for this building is actually a 37 story building so this building could actually accommodate a lot of athletes so let's first compute the the maximum capacity of each building so 
let's see that there are 62 rooms per floor. We have 37 levels. Let's not consider let's not consider the ground floor as a level because it's the ground level and you cannot stay in the ground level because based on my design here I actually made the ground level for retail spaces so the athletes could shop around. And then we must also consider that the top five level is actually based off Maslow. So the thing or the, or the precedence of the design is actually Maslow's hierarchy of needs on this part right here on the top on the top five areas of the building because it says there on the top five level concept of hierarchy is actually self-actualization esteem love and belonging safety needs physiological and the last part is actually physiological needs the thing about this is the maslow's hierarchy of needs i actually reinvented each hierarchy and made it into a sustainable typology in terms of an architectural standpoint so the top part which is self-actualization i made it into the worship area prayer area or or the zenith prayer area the second one is actually based off of knowledge because in terms of esteem i got library so i wanted to make a quiet place so in understanding, there are some athletes that are also students as well and not full-time athletes. What I mean by this is they are not limited to they are not limited to just athletes, so I wanted to make a library for them. The third area is actually the social area, which in consideration is the garden. So I wanted to make an interior garden so that will be the third area which is considered under the third level of love and belong under maslow the fourth one is safety needs meaning i actually wanted to interject the idea of office the work area and a gym area and the last part is the physiological needs in understanding of this i translated it into the food or the nutritious area so it was translated into a food court if we look here this is the design of the ground floor and then if we look on the lower right we can see that there's an isometric view of the structure and as oriented the floor plan is always facing north pointing up so let's look here on this area right here the design actually has four areas the green one is actually the platform inside which is the which is the middle part of the structure the blue area is the pond because I believe that water features are very important in spaces like these the orange area is actually the if you do you know the the airport part like when you go inside they actually check your stuff before you get in the building i we actually place those here i actually talk with the group so the group and i decide that this is something we must have so we place this this x-ray thing for the stuff and in consideration there's a lot of athletes going in and out so we actually made it like a small terminal for x-rays so that they could go inside and check their things and then the pink area is actually the food area yes the food area the the food area is is basically like a small lounge area where they could sit but if you look at the plan there are lots of tables scattered there's a front desk which is near the pond the blue circle beside that there's a concierge on both ends 
there's actually vegetation in the middle because I believe that vegetations are very very important for this structure let's look at the next part oh yeah before I forget there's actually elevators on on both ends of the building on the upper left and the one near the terminal on the right side here this is the second level floor plan so the thing here is this is actually the 62 62 rooms for the floor and then the thing about this is there's actually four fire exits located on each side and on the middle part that line over there that's actually an access point so the precedence actually came from marina bay sands because the idea of marina bay sands when i stayed there when i was younger was when you walk by you have you have you have this feeling of grandeur and i wanted to have this part right here into an atrium that you can walk through and then you can sense the space and really really feel the environment that you're around in so that the idea of the residences is that you're walking into something grandeur it's like before you perform you have that feeling that you made it here and i wanted to invoke that feeling to every athlete that steps foot on this structure this is the top rendered plan of the structure if we look closely there's actually a lot of rooms the challenge that was invoked here was the designs of the rooms so in consideration each room has eight beds meaning it could hold up to eight athletes and when we look closely the rooms here are actually based off the shape of the structure so what made things really challenging was actually the curves of the building so this was actually the hardest part was designing this part right here and as we go up so this specific design actually mirrors everything going up so as you've said before sir that i just had to present the plans that are not different i mean the plans that are different so i wanted to show you this one right here because this technically mirrors all the levels going up for the residences and right here we have the 33rd level so as stated earlier we have the fifth the fifth or the last part of maslow's hierarchy of needs so we have here the physiological needs so i've converted this into a food court and if we look on the right we can see an isometric view of what it would look like so starting from this level we have escalators and the escalator here actually reflects the one below so starting from the level 30 32 we have escalators so each level has elevators and if you're going to ask me what was the most challenging part about the elevators was it was actually inspired by the hotel in Las Vegas. I don't specifically remember the name of the hotel, but the elevator was actually an inclined Otis elevator. So the idea of that is, imagine this as the elevator. This is slanting, going, out, going outwards. Let's face it here it slants going outwards so this part right here is open and this is your building itself imagine this so when you walk so when the elevator slides it does this 
yes so that was the design for the elevator system right here so it's actually very very challenging i had multiple attempts to do this and this by far is the most successful and then this specific this specific design of the otis elevator or the inclined elevator actually reaches until the topmost level so this was the design i think is most suited for this for this typology and if we look closely of the rendered plan on the middle part the triangle it's actually an elevated area because i wanted to place the food area there it gives a sense of when you see the food it's like having that feeling or nostalgia when you were young in my case when i go to school the food's actually placed in a platform and then when i sit down when I see the food elevated there, it brings me there. And then at the end of the day, I, I end up buying more than what I could actually eat because of the design. So I wanted to have that idea here for this structure. So it's located in, in a view that your eyes, when it touches, you have this feeling that you would like to eat and you sat down it gives you this feeling that you're already hungry and you'll eat the green part is actually a very important part of the design so we actually strategically place the clinic right there just in case for emergencies etc and right across the clinic when you look up there's actually two areas so that's actually the chemical chemical area chem and electrical area because it's very important and on the other side the larger part near the small green circle on the lower right is actually the storage area so it's actually cold you can manage to have noise because there's actually a buffer from the cafeteria itself so that was the design there for this part. We are now at the 34th level. So this is the office spaces. This is under the safety needs, etc. of the fourth the fourth level of Maslow's hierarchy of needs. One, two, three, four. So if you look at the office area, you could actually see that it has a center part right there this is actually a very interesting part if i do say so myself so if you look at the center part right here the purple part right there it's actually a small garden why because the thing about the the thing about it is for me I have this great deal with nature that when you start off your day going by going through nature you have this feeling this feeling that when you go to your office and then you pass by a beautiful garden it really really lights your mood up you have this you have this sensation you have this feeling you have this you have this thing here that no matter what happens in the office you started the day right so your mood is very positive and positivity is very contagious so i wanted to place it right there so on the right side there's actually the right side of the garden is actually the washroom for strategic purposes so that you won't smell smell it that much the area because you have a garden right there and then when we flush to the side we can actually see that there are some office slots going up like that but the, the thing is when we look at the lower right area the green spot the green circle 
that's actually the locker room because I actually placed a gym right there. So the thing is, the design of the gym is not very distracting that when you go to office, like, instead of focusing on your work, you look at people going to the gym, etc. So the thing is, we actually place the gym on the corner area of the building. I actually also wanted to maximize the space right there. So I believe that this is a good idea to place the building. We are now at the 35th level. So this is the Skyline Park. So what is this area right here? This is the third level. This is for the love and belonging of Maslow's Hierarchy of Needs, which is my precedence for this design. If we look closely in this slide right here, that it really, really looks like a garden. We have a lot of water features that area right there in the middle we have a shallow pond with some kois we have very very light trees so the thing is the trees on the side are actually bamboo and the ones on the middle the pink area is are actually small flowery trees the thing about this area is the idea of sigh, the idea of breathing. I'm not saying that when you go to competitions or, or, if you're an, or if you're an athlete that you're super, super confident. No, that's not what I'm saying at all. The point of this is for love and belonging, that feeling that you feel when you walk through a garden. You have this feeling of sigh you have this feeling of relaxation despite all the problems despite all the competitions i believe this is a place that you could just sit down relax and enjoy and on the lower right we have a washroom set up and on the upper left right there we have the inclined elevator Now, we are at the 36th level. This is the Skyline Library. So it says here, esteem. So the idea of that to me is translated into knowledge, a quiet place, or a library. If we look here, we, on the upper area, we have some computer area. We have desks we have a washroom the center area right there we have the we have the information center like you can you can drop your things you can borrow books you can sit down on the couches there, there there's couches on the side so it's inclined up so it's basically like a centerpiece that people would actually want to go to because for me the idea of going to a library from my experience for the, for the most places that i've been to that when you go to a library you don't go to the information center at most you directly go to the books and then if you don't know what you're looking for then you go to the information center but for me why not change it up a bit why not place the information center in the middle and have people go up to that place right there just for the fun of actually going there and when they're there you're actually thinking of something that hey i need the book where do i find this book for obvious reasons we have basic knowledge of how the library is set up but you don't know it as good as the librarian so let's make it one of the most attractive parts of the structure so when you go there you could ask and they'll direct you no problem 
very easy. And now we're on the 37th level of the structure, the topmost area of the structure. We have the Zenith prayer area. So the thing about this is we've actually made this area my group mates talk and we've decided to place a an area where we could we could simultaneously have different religions praying hear me out most of the athletes that goes to the olympics are actually under the christian side maybe it catholic christian etc but we must also consider other religions like like muslim buddhism and other religions so the thing about this space right here is there's actually other rooms that people can go to look at this the purple area of this structure right here is the church area we have the kodak we have the cross we have some pews for the church and basically it's it's a catholic worship area the most modern design if i do say so myself if we look at the green space or the green circle right here it was actually designed to have mats for the muslims because i've actually studied how they prayed and this was the most appropriate for this floor area right here i've actually seen the mats that they've used and i also wanted to respect what they do so i match the color based on what they use so most of what they've used are actually royal blue and dark red with some type of some type of pattern but this was the best for this part right here and the light blue area right there just beside the elevator and the escalator is the space where people can interact they can just sit down regardless of their religion be in a safe space communicate socialize and actually have fun on the lower area we have the washroom we have a storage area slash chemical slash electrical slash mechanical because the area is quite big on the lower area so it's actually buffered so when it makes noise noise doesn't spread that much because of the buffers and when we look at the upper area the brown part on top of the light blue circle it's actually a room for the religious people let's say the priest let's say the head of the mosque the, the leader of the mosque which is the muslim leader and then on the upper right there's actually a connection a door if i do say so myself for the priest to walk into that room after a mass because the thing is i've actually been inside the la salle the la salle brothers house and i've seen how they work i've actually asked them about this and yes it's true that they have a small room just beside the kodak or the the platform area where they preach after their mass so it's very important to have that 
each level of the residences have actually two rooms let me just go back on the slide before I forget to mention because this is very important here on the upper part right there beside the fire exit on each level each level of the residences there's an allotted storage area mechanical and electrical area because it's very very important the part right there there's actually a bridge meaning to say the two areas the big ones are actually open so it's like an atrium going down that's pretty much about it thank you